Okay, so I wanted to show you this flat skimmer is what a lot of people use for skimming the surface of their pool. And they don't really realize that they could use a pool rake for doing the same thing so they can skim the surface and do the bottom with the very same product, okay? So the first thing, I want to show you just how much faster that process would be. So I'm going to dirty up my pool here. Spread these leaves out just a little bit. Now you know when you're using one of these, okay, you can only get so much before it's basically full and if you try to get any more then you start losing what you put in there right so you saw how full this rake was when i started so i empty this off that's my first trip okay so i come back over try to pick up more of what i got here right and then my skimmer's full again can't quite get to the end of it, probably, right? So I gotta empty it again. And then I gotta go back for another trip, right? Even if I had filled this more full, three or four times, I don't even have this half full. How many times, I mean, how much of your pool could you skim all at once with this one tool versus trying to skim it with this one and keep emptying? Give you a, a glimpse of just how much debris you can actually load up in one of these ProTuff rakes. Um, so these are wet leaves um, and we've got it basically completely full. If I try to hold it in one hand, I mean I can hold it but but barely. I mean it, it, it weighs a good amount here, okay? So and I'm gonna empty this out into this wheelbarrow. Now tell me how many times you would have to fill up your current pool skimmer or pool rake to get that much debris out of your pool, okay? You can generally clean the whole pool and not empty it maybe one or two times with this thing, even if it's relatively dirty. So uh, just gives you an idea of, of what you're dealing with here. It's real sturdy, it's gonna hold a lot of weight, it's gonna hold a lot of debris. So if you're trying to decide between our leaf rake, which is the black mesh net, or the silt rake, which is the white mesh net, um, this little demonstration probably will give you an idea of what the difference between the two is. Um, generally the black mesh uh, leaf net is for cleaning anything larger than really small uh, ants, gnats, that kind of thing. Uh, if you have silt, sand, pollen, uh, sometimes algae, that sort of thing, then you're really going to want the silt rake, and sometimes you need both. Um, because uh, the black mesh net cleans much faster, so if you have larger debris and smaller debris, you're probably going to want to have both rakes clean with the black mesh net first, go through it really fast, and then just follow with the silt rake. But here's a little demonstration to show you just how much of, of the sand is going to filter through okay, this black mesh net, the leaf net. You can see here, if I shake this, it's going to filter right through here. Okay. Um, which obviously is not what you're looking for if you have small debris you want to be able to collect that But there is some debris that that it did grab some of the larger dirt particles are still here And they are not filtering through so anything larger than that this black mesh net is going to going to get But if you want to look inside this this silt net here You can see that what we have now is all the sand that was that filtered through the black Okay, that's what this is going to catch. All right so um, just so you understand the difference between the two, we do sell them both on Amazon. We have multiple sizes of each. Um, so again, you probably, if you have both larger and smaller debris, you really are gonna be better served by having one of each. Uh, but you can get away with just the silt rake. It will work for that larger debris. Just takes longer because the mesh is so tight, the water doesn't pass through it as easy, so you have to move a lot slower with that rake. Uh, so I hope that was helpful. Thank you. quick video to show you the difference between the old style pool pole that most of you own, uh, which is the cam locking design, and the new style, uh, which is the new ProTuff uh, pool pole.
Most of us have owned for years. Uh, it has a locking cam. Uh, they can be internal or external, but more or less they still work the same. Um, there's this kind of twisting motion. So if I don't lock it down, then the pool will extend or it will retract, okay? Now, you can see that there's a little bit of, you know, torque that I'm using on this, and the older these poles get, the more so that, that generally seems to be the case. And a lot of it is that the cam itself is causing friction when it shouldn't be, okay? Because the cam deforms and, you know, it, it, it cracks or breaks. Um, and so, but, the, but the, the point is, if I tighten this down, if I screw this down, and of course, you know, you're, you're screwing on it forever. It takes forever to really get it to lock, right? And then if I put enough pressure on it, I can still get it to collapse, okay? And so then, of course, you tighten it down more, and then you're looking to see, and when you get it finally to that place where you can't, you know, get it to compress anymore, well, then you got it locked down so tight half the time you can't get it open again. So then you can't extend it again, okay? So that's the old style, and that's what we're trying to alleviate is that problem that is this, you know, extended process of trying to, ex you know, extend and contract your pole. Uh, and this new design is how we've accomplished that. Um, so you can see the internal pole has a lot of holes in it. And this mechanism here, the locking mechanism, has two pins, one here and one here. And those pins insert into these holes. So when they insert, there is no way for this pole to compress or extend when those pins are locked. But as soon as I push these two buttons, it will extend or it will contract very easily, okay? And once I let go, it locks. Once I depress, they extend. And that's how easy this locking mechanism is. Just push or release the button.